Hi, I'm Ty Davis. You may know me from such films as That Code Doesn't Live Here Anymore and DevOps. Ew! When it comes to source code management, protecting and securing product assets is important for every organization. Without a clear plan about how you're going to manage these product assets, there's increased risk for every project. When it comes to source code management, protecting and securing product assets is important for any organization. With SSO, reducing login to one set of credentials improves enterprise security immensely. The ability to log in just one time with one set of credentials to get access to multiple development tools solves key problems for the business by providing greater security and compliance, uh, improved usability, and better, uh, better user satisfaction. A single sign-on reduces security risk because users only uh, use one set of credentials. If you look at something like Sarbanes-Oxley or HIPAA, uh, SSO helps with regulatory compliance and data protection. Uh, IP whitelisting or IP allow list. This is a security feature often used for limiting and controlling access only uh, to trusted users. With uh, IP allow list uh, or IP whitelisting, uh, this allows you to create lists of trusted IP addresses or IP ranges from which your users can uh, access your domains. With permissions or committer access rules, uh, by preventing force pushes and by stimulating code review practices, mistakes can be easily avoided and code quality will improve. Uh, to make it easier to work together with code and Git, having a simple permission system uh, built on top of an elegant authorization method is extremely useful. Permissions are fundamentally defined around the idea of having read or write permission to the repository and branches. And not only is this an easy to grasp concept, it doesn't add any unnecessary complexity uh, to permission management. By naming permissions after their role within a project, it immediately becomes clear which each permission is intended for. We will look at audit auditability and traceability. The ability to track important events such as who's performed certain actions and the time they happen is critical for application owners. Visibility and insight into actions, actions such as changes to a user permission level, who added a new user, or who removed a user is needed as organizations keep oversight on user activity. Without a clear plan about how you're going to manage these product assets, there's a real risk that uh, the wrong files, the wrong code, wrong configuration can derail a project. So having an application that links together actions enables great traceability that stays consistent with the needs of diverse users. Let's talk about the importance of having the right practices in place to control changes to development assets. Be sure to check out our next video and to continue our conversation around source code management. Go on, get.